it's Ruth Hamilton back with another craft video. Now today's video is slightly different from my others because I'm just going to show you my new Tonic Studios Decal Edge Trimmer. This arrived yesterday and I put a blog post and a Facebook page post on about it and then I got quite a few questions afterwards asking me how it worked, was it easy to use and bits and pieces so I thought probably the best way to answer all of that was just to make a short video and show you the actual trimmer itself in action. So hopefully you'll like it too. Now first of all it's an eight and a half inch trimmer so that's 22 centimeters. It's torn edge that's the decal part. It's a Tim Holtz product so it matches in beautifully. It's the black and matches in beautifully with my craft mat, my glass mat, my pick and all the other bits and pieces I have of all of that so if you're into liking all your craft stuff coordinated and that's part of your set, there you are, that's another addition for it. So, But nice and all as it may look, it's got to do the job as well, so let's have a little look. Now I have um, a card here that I've gone ahead, this is a, a card blank, and I've gone ahead and edged it, so you can just see there exactly what, what the trimmer does. It's um, a really beautiful edge. Now normally the, the way you would achieve that edge is by putting a, a ruler on your page and ripping back towards yourself so uh, it's quite random and sometimes the paper's not wide enough you waste some and you rip more than you need but this actually cuts off such tiny pieces as you can see here that there's no waste and it's um, it's actually really good for using up small pieces of paper and scraps and whatnot as well. The other thing that I do think is very good is normally that it, um, gives a, a distressed sort of look off card. So it's really nice if you use that with the um, ink along the edge as well. So it just shows it off nicely as well. Um, I'll just show you how it works here. So I've got a nice piece of card. This is Craft Perfect. And I'm going to cut this to put on the, do you hear that? Is that nice? <laughs> Ten and a half centimetres by fourteen and a half. So it's got um, inches and centimetres marked at the top and along the bottom here. And as you can see, there's a little lip there and here as well. So you can butt it, the card up to wherever you like. Um, sorry, I'll just turn this around. Um, so at the bottom the, it's closer to the centimetres and at the top the markings are closer to the inches so just whichever you fancy. Um, I'm going to cut this at ten and a half and I'll just make it slightly bigger because obviously it's going to just... How easy was that? And there's the, the lovely torn edge effect as you can see there. And I'll just go along here and I want this fourteen and a half ish roughly. I just put that straight up there to 14 and a half there. And actually that for a crafter that's a lovely noise. You like to hear your tool things in action there so the trimmer to make a nice noise like that's very very good. So there we are that's it. And there's no waste that's very easily done. You don't need to get your die cutting machine out. You don't need to do anything like that. Everything's, I actually think I'm just going to take another little bit off that just to make it slightly shorter. But uh, this is the guard here too. So you hold that down um, and then your paper, your card's not going to slide anywhere. And I'll just cut this white piece here at 10 by 14 centimetres and mat it onto that as well. So there we are by 14 just take a little bit off there too now, there it is you can probably see the edge a bit more clearly on the white but once this is all matted and layered together it shows off lovely so you can just see it there on the three pieces. Now I'll glue those together and make a card. Just a very simple one and I'll be adding this on to it so I'll go ahead and mat those. 